welcome welcome to this mindful embodied monday or it's a monday when we're recording who knows when it is when you're watching this recording it might be later in the day on the monday for the live stream or it might be any day of the week but welcome we have quite a packed zoom room today which is really nice to see um, all over the uk and intercontinental europe which is lovely so today we're going to have a check-in mm, we're going to have a centering then we're going to have a check-in and pause the recording then i'm going to stand up we're going to have some movement and a little bit of exploration and it's all about well we're kind of going back to a bit of basics in coming home to you coming home to the body and then we're going to have a meditation practice so start with some centering and we'll go back to our typical our regular a b c now as you center a centering is a bit like a, a small meditation anyway but as i often say i encourage you to keep your eyes open you don't need to look at the screen but i encourage you to keep your eyes open because then you can develop the skill and use centering in your daily life a is awareness awareness of the space you're in even let your gaze float around, look at familiar objects or items. Awareness of noise, sounds in the distance, sounds closer. And then bring your awareness inwards, first to your body and how you're being supported, how you're resting. Feet on the ground, body in a chair sofa, bed. Notice how you're being supported and held. And then awareness of the breath. Notice the inhale. The pause. The exhale. The gap. And the cycle again. That cycle you don't even need to think about, most of us, most of the time. The cycle of the breath continues. That's A for awareness, B for balance. So wherever you are, have a little rock back and forth, side to side, up and down. Finding that sweet spot, that point where your body is supporting your body. There is the least effort. Then balance to the breath. Perhaps counting your inhale and exhale and breathing in and out for a count of two or four, but trying to keep them equal. And then C is for core. So we're going to bring some softness across the forehead, around the eyes, the cheeks, the jaw, the neck, the shoulders, the chest, the belly, softening without collapsing. So inhale, lengthen up through the spine, exhale, soften through the core. Inhale and lengthen, exhale and soften. And one more, and even give that audible exhale. Ah, ABC, second C for connection. If you're in the Zoom room, you can peer at those faces in the screen, those people looking back at you, smiling, sharing in this with you, supporting each other, looking out for each other. And if you're not in the Zoom or otherwise, or if you prefer, bring to mind someone, a person, a pet, someone that makes your heart smile, someone that makes you feel warm. It might be somebody present, past, future, even your higher self looking out for you. And then let that go. Okay, so to check in today, 
an invitation. Check in by colour. What colour best conveys how you feel today? And it might be a mixture of colour. So, for example, if you're feeling a bit down, it might be really quite black or grey. And yet there might be some sparkle in the corner that's creeping in. The colour is up to you. If, you, if colour doesn't resonate with you, ignore it. Choose a way to check in yourself. So I'm going to pause the recording and allow you to check in. Allow yourself to arrive wherever you are, whatever position you're sitting in or standing in. Maybe lift one foot up and the other down, even if you're sitting. Maybe within your shoes or if you've got bare feet, lift each toe up and consciously put them down again. Maybe rock a little on your feet, feeling into where your foot is touching the ground, even if you're sitting, but you get a stronger feedback standing, but you can still do this sitting. And if you're sitting, you can do it with your body against the chair, the bed. Bring a little movement into each leg. No right way, no wrong way, but you're reminding your brain where your leg is. If we sit still, we forget. We as a body forget where our body is. A little bit of hips, reminding me that we need to have a groove soon and we might have a groove session on Thursday for anybody who's interested. So a little bit of hip movement, a little bit of spine movement, no right way, doesn't matter what you look like. Wiggle and jiggle, shoulders, arms, hands, fingers, full body. We look like we're in a rave club or something. The Zoom room is looking very active. Head and neck, gentle. Be careful if you're prone to vertigo or dizziness or blood pressure issues. And then come to stillness and just notice, notice any shift in awareness. And have a swing. Swing is different from that other movement because your whole body's moving in sync. Somehow it knows what to do. I don't say turn and come onto your foot or move one arm and, and let the other follow. You do it automatically. Notice where you feel it, even right between your shoulders, you might feel it. Come to stillness. And we'll take some breaths and an invitation to visualize the breath moving through your body. So inhale and take your arms up, 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 up. If your shoulders don't want them to go high, they don't have to go high. And down again. And again, move with your breath. It doesn't have to be at the same speed as me. And down. If you wish, you take a gentle back bend, but get a little bit of engagement at those glutes so you're protecting your spine. Don't over squeeze, which is just as bad. Then, same again. Inhale, take your arms up. Soften your knees if you're standing fold forward you can do this seated as well go all the way down or as far as you wish even if it's onto something <sighs> generously bend your knees rise up and come back to the start one more like that your speed no rush inhale all the way up make sure you soften your knees all the way down or as far as you need to go. Let your head hang a little. Maybe even stay here for a couple of breaths. Wiggle. Then generously bend your knees, lengthen your spine and rise up. And let it go. So, a reminder. Especially since we've got 
somebody new in the Zoom room and we've got new people in the Facebook group. A reminder of self-care pose. One arm round to shoulder, one arm round to lower ribs. Drop the head, drop the chin, drop the gaze and sink into that squeeze. Remembering self-compassion, self-care, self-kindness, self-love. Because that underpins everything that we do. And then gently let that go. And you might want to swap sides. Now, I said to you before, my preference is that, that I just did then, and my right hand was on my left shoulder. But one of my teachers recently said, do it always the other way around. You do it how you choose, but you can try this. And what he said was, the hand going onto the left side is nearer to the heart. Mm, I still prefer it the other way around. So find your preference. And much as sometimes we need to explore the side that's less comfortable, when it comes to self-care, I encourage you to find the one that you feel it most strongly through. And then let that go. Then, what have I written down? Ah, yes. We've done this in recent weeks. We've done entering in. And the reason I brought this up now is thinking about how we nurture ourselves as we move on this journey through January, coming to the end of January, reaching forward, looking through February, hoping for March, trying to pull spring towards us. I said to my husband this week, is it not spring yet? He said, no, darling, it's winter. It's the middle of winter. So entering so that we can see that journey. So one foot forward with a, a bend in that front knee. Back leg is strong. Arms come out in front. One is higher and in front. The other's a little behind. I tell you the technical setup, then you do it how it feels good for you. Entering, looking forwards. Looking at where you're going and what's coming up ahead for you. And then stepping back to the hug to remind ourselves not to rush, not to overstep, not to lean, not to let the galloping horses take us too quickly. Back to entering, swap sides if you wish. Again, front leg is bent. But there's a sense of moving forwards and what is ahead in your journey. What are your plans? What are your hopes? What are your dreams? They're okay to have. And the tiredness, the pain, any life's issues will creep in around the edges, but we still have that journey. There is still positivity and the brighter color, the sparkling and step back finding your self-care because the nurturing begins with ourselves we have support we have community we have community here but if we don't treat ourselves with kindness other people don't tend to either to have an extra squeeze and then let that go. I'm going to come and sit down. We're going to have a guided meditation practice. So traditionally in meditation, we sit tall with a long spine on a cushion or a bolster. But I encourage you to find the position that your body would like today. That might be sitting tall. That might be propped in a chair with cushions that might be lying down. If your body says lying down, it is today, blanket, cushions, bolsters, eye mask, then do that. 
you can use meditations as deep relaxation. Listen to the wisdom of your body today and see what you would like. Taking some time to settle into whatever position is right for you. You can close your eyes, but you're always welcome to keep them open or just lower the gaze. And if you become anxious and your eyes are closed, open them. Look around, look at familiar objects. If anything I say brings anxiety, move away from it. And you can always ground yourself a little more, bring yourself back to this present moment and your body as it is now by touching your fingertips together or squeezing your toes, taking your awareness to something more neutral. So settling here, bringing awareness to the sensation of your breath as it enters and exits your body, as it moves through the body. And perhaps you can visualize with each inhalation, the breath moving throughout the body and settling in different parts. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing as a whole body. Beginning with moving your awareness down to your feet. Noticing any gentle pressure beneath them, against the ground or furniture. Sensing into them, whatever arises here, whether it's tingling, warmth, heaviness. And perhaps there's a color that rests here in your feet. Accepting and noticing whatever arises here in your body, in your feet, in this moment. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing as a body. Moving your awareness to the lower legs, the lower legs and knees, and the upper legs, the thighs. Sensing feeling into the muscles, the joints, the skin, the bones. Noticing anything that arises here, any sensations, tingling, warmth, heaviness. And perhaps a color rests here in your legs, breathing in and breathing out, breathing as a body. Letting your awareness slide up the legs into the hips, into the hips and pelvis. Noticing anything here, tension, resistance, and perhaps visualizing the breath arrive here, arriving with love and acceptance, sensing tingling, warmth, heaviness. And noticing what color might rest here. It might always be the same color, but it might change. 
Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing as a body. Moving your awareness up into the belly. Deep in the belly, the organs of the belly, the muscles covering the belly, the spine at the back and the skin. Noticing any tension, any tingling, warmth, heaviness. And in your mind's eye, imagining the breath, filling the, be the belly, perhaps with color, whatever color you choose. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing as a body. Moving your awareness up into the chest. Deep in the chest. Heart beating. The lungs expanding, contracting. The rib cage protecting. The muscles holding the skin covering. Noticing any sensations that arise here. Tingling, warmth, heaviness. And perhaps a color rests here, filling the chest, filling the heart, filling the lungs. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing as a body. Letting your awareness slide up through the shoulders, down the arms to rest in the hands. Feeling into the hands and each finger and each thumb. Perhaps even making tiny micro movements to let your awareness be heightened. Noticing any sensations arising here. Tingling. Warmth. Heaviness. The breath filling the hands. Filling the fingers, the thumbs. Perhaps a color rests here. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing as a body. Shifting your awareness from the hands through the wrists into the lower arms, the elbows and the upper arms, the bones within, the joints, the muscles, the skin, the breath filling the arms. And notice any sensations that arise here. Tingling, warmth, heaviness, filled by the breath, perhaps with color, your color. Breathing in and breathing out, breathing as a body.
Letting your awareness move through the neck into the head, into each part of the face, the jaw, the mouth and tongue, the cheeks, nose, the eyes, the forehead, the tiny muscles in the face conveying expression, holding emotion, tingling, warmth, heaviness. Noticing whatever arises here, the head and face filled with the breath, filled with a color, breathing in and breathing out, breathing as a body. Sensing the whole body here. Allowing the whole body to sink beneath you. Having awareness of any sensations that arise with each breath. Tingling. Warm heaviness. Be aware of any feelings, any sensations, anything for you coming home back to your body. Lingering in this awareness a whole being, a whole body. Perhaps you can feel the comfort of settling back into yourself, finding, reconnecting with the wisdom that lies within, breathing in, and breathing out, breathing as a body. Allowing yourself to rest here in silence for the next couple of minutes.
Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing as a body. Allowing yourself a few moments to be present here with yourself. Sensations you feel. Temperature around you. Welcoming all of it. Remembering this place, your home, your inner home, is here with you, for you, as you, whenever you need. Taking any movements you need, perhaps a stretch or a hug. Deepen the breath. Maybe even take the arms right overhead. And then slowly, as you are ready, open your eyes if they were closed and come back to where we began. I'm going to stop the recording and go and check in with the people in the Zoom room.